Okay, in my previous video, we talked about how we can add rendering logic to the visual um, visualization underscore source dot js file, right? So in this video, we'll be talking about how we can apply CSS on our visualization. Okay, so mainly what we'll be doing is like this graph, particular graph, we will be shifting to the middle of this particular div. Okay, and we'll do some kind of formatting with this particular text. Okay, so to do that, what we need to do is if I just go to my Splunk Home etc apps, this tutorial app, app server, static, visualization, radial media. This is our visualization folder, right? Over there, we have a visualization.css file. Okay. We'll be updating that file for any kind of CSS changes to the visualization. Okay. So before that, what we need to do is we need to we have to apply the CSS on some kind of class, right? So that we will be adding that class for this particular div as well as for the text in our JS file first. Then we will refer that particular class in our CSS file to make the CSS file changes. Okay. So let us add, add the class first over there. So for the div, I'll just remove these two lines because this is just some kind of messages. You can ignore that so I'll say this dot el okay that's the whole canvas we have it right over there right dot add class okay so we are just adding we can give any name to this particular class so that the same name we need to refer it in the word CS, CSS file itself okay we'll say Splunk R A T I A L radial meter. Okay, so through jQuery we have added that class. Now, when we will be adding the class to text, right? So that means here we are we are actually um, creating that text element, right, of SVG using our D3.js, right? So here. The, add, uh, the addition of class is little bit different. It, it is just an attribute. Okay. So, attribute class. Okay. Now, the class name you can anything you can give. I'll just give meter center text. Now, in our CSS, we will be referring them in visualization dot in visualization dot CSS file, right? So this is how we'll be referring them. So for text one, so the meter center text, okay. So I'll refer something like this dot this guy, correct? Then the CSS changes as usual, right? So what what we'll be doing it over here is font size f o n t font size okay we'll say 40 pixel then font weight you can give any in any of your uh, choiceable uh, css changes over here okay accordingly i'm just giving some basic stuff over here font family equals to FACA common L V E H E L V E T I C A T I C K C A this one or sans serif let's see okay so this is the text related CSS changes we'll be doing and for our div we need to place this particular 
we need to place this whole visualization at the middle over here right so for that what we will be doing is something like this dot this guy angle sorry curly bracket start and end and over there we'll say display equals to block okay and there is a option called margin which will basically move that particular visualization to the middle auto okay so very very small css changes so so let us build that visualization as we have made changes to our javascript as well right now we will use our same code to build the visualization cannot find okay we have to go to our radial meter folder cd okay now build that okay it has been built now what we'll do is we will clear our browser cache let's see for css may we may need to restart splunk let's see whether it's working or not okay it is not the text effect has been done but it has not moved over there let me see the css code okay what there we have to give is vg okay so i'll just delete the cache okay now it was it is fine so it was this this one i i has uh, I was missed to give that one. So, okay. So, this is how we can apply CSS as well to our visualizations. Okay. So, in the next video, we'll be talking about how we can create user defined format menu options. Okay. Uh, in, in detail. Okay. See you in next video.